Hey, what's happening? Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, here today with the three biggest exercise mistakes ever by beginners. I'm gonna start with something that's extremely obvious, but something that happens to so many people when they are first getting started working out, whether it's at home or at the gym. They have no good plan, no clearly defined goals. They just start kind of picking up a weight and doing random exercises, combination of things that they've seen in magazines or seen on television or seen their buddies do, but they don't really put down on paper a, a plan, something, uh, you know, a routine to follow. Uh, maybe, you know, just, just basic goal setting stuff. Why are you doing this? How are you gonna do it? What are you gonna be doing? You know, it's kind of like the, the, all the W's, right? You gotta, gotta know the where, the when, the what, the how, the, the why. You gotta know all these things when you're starting to work out if you wanna really see quality results. Um, no one, I didn't know this. I mean, we didn't think about that when we were you know, 15 years old and, and starting to like lift weights. But there's a lot more information in the world today. There's a lot more out there for people. Uh, so, you, you know, you, you should know this. If you're a beginner, this is something that you should uh, create for yourself. And the best thing would be to sit with a strength coach or to sit with somebody, a, a coach of some kind who, who's been there, done that, who, who knows kind of the, uh, the, the obstacles, who knows the, the, the things to, to go through to get results. Number two is a total lack of understanding of nutrition, of your dietary needs. I by, by no means am you know, like the, the guru of nutrition, but I actually am a certified sports nutritionist. So I have a little bit of an understanding, obviously, of your, your, your macros, your proteins, your carbs, your fats, uh, what's good, what's bad, what's processed, what's natural. You gotta have an idea of these things if you wanna really, again, I'm, go, I'm talking to the beginner person, maybe even an intermediate or advanced person who maybe has been training for a while, but still not really dialed in with their nutrition. You really, if you wanna see maximum results from what you're doing in the gym, you need to totally have it working on the back end. You're eating a lot more than you're training, right? So, you know, your one or two hours of training a day is not gonna offset your three, you know, big meals and your three snacks and or whatever else that you're putting into your body. You need to really have a, a clear plan with your nutrition and just, I mean, just doing some reading. You could spend 10 minutes a day reading about, you know, solid nutrition and what other, you know, maybe elite people uh, in, in the, the world of fitness are doing in their diet with their diet planning and stuff like that. And that'll get you a long way. Uh, in just a matter of a few weeks, you'll learn a lot, okay? Number three, and this is, this is one that most of us do. This is something that I screwed up with. I would see somebody with a lot of muscle, some jacked guy who is you know, certainly old, probably older than me, who was doing a, a through Z exercise. It doesn't really matter what he was doing. But I would mimic or try to follow or try and replicate his workouts, you know? I would like, almost like I'm stealing from that person. Like, oh, well they do this, this, and this, so I should do this, this, and this. But really, whatever they're doing, I mean, there's, there could be a whole lot of things going on with that person if they look as good as they do. What, number one, they could have amazing genetics. Number two, they could be have training for 20 years or more uh, and earn the right to do whatever it is that they're doing. They might be doing like body part split routines uh, all day, every day, and you're a beginner, you, that's not something you should be doing. You should be doing you know, compound, large movements, focused on uh, technique and skill and trying to really get good at you know, doing squats and squat variations, deadlift, deadlift variations, and, and certain pressing and, and pulling movements, just the basic stuff. And as you develop your body, then that kind of free, you know, frees you up to do uh, you know, a lot of the other secondary stuff, the, the auxiliary or supplemental lifts, okay? So don't just base your workouts on how someone else is working themselves out who looks really good because <laughs> they've probably done a lot of other things over the course of their training life to get to where they are now to be doing whatever it is they're doing, okay? 
So I hope you found these uh, three big exercise mistakes helpful. Uh, these, are, these are very common. So leave some comments for us too, because we want to know what you think, maybe where you're stuck. Now I got something free for you. It's a free report. It's the seven worst testosterone killers. This is huge for guys. Seven things that we're doing killing our testosterone. It's a free report. All you gotta do is click this box, download this report, it's yours. Now, if you're on a mobile device, you can't click there, click underneath this video, that top link, criticalbench.com forward slash bonus dash video. Yeah, that's it, bonus dash video. That's gonna give you that free report. Just enter your email, the report is yours. Be sure to comment on this video, like our channel, like this video, and uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again really soon.